Howdy y'all and welcome back to Britterbug Gaming. This is Don't Starve Together, Maxwell's Domain. I do apologize because I have to create a whole new game for us because of the fact that the last game wound up, wound up failing due to uh, due to microphone issues. Um, but I will, I got us a new game set up so that way we can start fresh because I'd hate for you guys to be lost with everything I did when I was alive. And yeah, it just wasn't pretty. Let me just say that. Um, but this game should be a lot better. I'm starting it on a default world. The only thing I did was added the caves, as you can see. Um, hopefully we can get a lot more done in this one and not have to start out with only a swordsman. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do believe that hurt us in the last game. So, we should be off a lot better, to a lot better shape than what we were in the last Maxwell's Domain. We'll just keep him in the outfit he's wearing. I wish I could put a flower in his hair because then he just looks so pretty. There's not a lot of guys would appreciate it though. <laughs> Looks like this is already a good place to set our base because you've got grass, you've got rocks, trees, sticks, lots of stuff. So, <coughs> we'll see how good this area is. We might want to move them just one more location, but this looks so far like a pretty good little area. And I do apologize for not posting a video yesterday, guys. I was a bit under the weather, so I didn't get on at all. Um, but I do hope you guys like the, the demo of Little Misfortune. Um, it's supposed to be coming out pretty soon for Steam. And I'm going to start recording Franbo. I do hope that I can post a few videos tonight about that. Uh, because I know with me putting the demo for Game 2... Up, uh, you know, it might be wise if I go ahead and start recording the first video. Well, I have plenty of sticks and grass in this area. I was quite hoping to find another flint so that way I could go ahead and start on collecting rocks and gather more flint from a rock, but I'm not finding any more. Hey, look, and there's the last one I needed. Ooh, I love these berry bushes. They're so much better than the other ones. Oh, that was cute, the way he just punched that. <laughs> Leaned his whole body out, and he was only on one leg. Alright, nice. We like Maxwell's style. At least we know there's plenty of materials in this little area to collect during the, the winter or summertime. That way we won't have to go traveling very far to gather up some materials. So we will have to deal with the frog pond. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head up here and grab our rock that I saw that has gold in it.
We might have found a different area for base. Come on, another green area. Here and we'll collect us some wood. I know we probably still don't have enough rocks, but if need be, we can always go chop this one down right here. It looks like there might be one right there. That might be a moon rock. Hmm. Only one way to know, though, and that is if we test it out to find out. You gotta love the carrots and the berries. They're so helpful during the first few nights. <coughs> Without them, it'd be almost impossible for most people to survive. <coughs> Including me. <laughs> so I do appreciate the developers for adding that. Got another frog pond right here. So it seems turkeys hide in these things as well. It's not the same as the other berry bushes, but it's still a berry bush in their eyes. This might be a good area to set up base. <coughs> and I'm sure you guys can hear why I was out yesterday. It was I was under the weather real bad. I just couldn't get my head to clear up. Allergy season is just awful for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my science machine so I can get this little present out of the way. See what we got. Ooh, still toed boots. And there went the lights. <laughs> I know we're going to need a shovel and possibly a hammer at some point, but I guess until I can create myself a backpack, it'll be pointless for me to carry around a hammer. Alright, there we go. The last game we didn't make us one, and I think that's what hurt us in the long run, because we had so many materials to gather, and just we didn't have enough room for it. No, it was just the best way of explaining it. Oh goodness, yes, of course this would be how it goes. Alright, so we start out right next to a queen bee 
and some of her evil bee minions. <laughs> Runny nose are just awful. Is there something up this way? Ooh, I touched up. We do, do love seeing those. Well, I guess if there was ever a time to beat down on the thing, it would be now. Who wants to see a queen bee fight? Because I'm not sure I can win it, but I will attempt fate. I don't know if I'm going to have to take that other bee thing out first, or... Because the second I step close to it, it's going to knock me out. Uh, we'll save that for another video, when, when we're better prepared, I'd say. Let's see what's all down in this cave system. I think this is probably as close as we can get to that beehive without it attacking us. Oh, and if you guys like my loading screen, it's one of the ones that I unlocked in the chest, and it's it's really adorable. I love it. I love Abigail and Wendy. Usually, they're two of my favorite characters to play, but uh, I don't know. It's just she gets killed way too easy, and I already struggle enough with dying as it is. So let's not add a little bit more trouble to it. I guess it is time for you to eat, huh? Make you go two days without eating. There you go. I just love that echo sound. Okay, so we're gonna set us up a little campfire right here. Oh, well, I guess it would be pointless, wouldn't it? Because mostly if it's... Well, I'll tell you what. We'll do this. We'll build us a science machine down here. And so that way, at least if we have to make base down here, we can. And it'll already be set up, pretty much. I wonder where that'll take us. I do want to know, but I'm not going to rush to find out just yet. Alright, let's see if I can collect a few more rocks. Oh, well, I guess we're going to need to collect more than just a few now. <laughs> Seeing as how I've used them for science machines. Alright. Yeah, I was right. I know my moon rocks. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to go ahead and use this one that we've already created and put it right here. So that way at least we can collect rocks while we're out there and not, and not have any issues with that. <coughs> mm. 
And guys, let me know if you think this game is just too quiet, because I would love to add in some music, but I just don't know if it would be better to or not. But I can use some music off YouTube. I found out that they actually have an area for YouTubers to use, uh, to use that won't be copyrighted music. So I'm going to use that if you guys would like some music. Goodness, those belly berries go bad fast, don't they? Two days and they're already going stale. Not even a whole full two days. I don't know if I want to go past you and not collect you, so I'm going to go ahead and grab you. Oh goodness, our lot is out. Whew, that was close. It was very close. A little bit of a corner to go around, and then we should be set. We should be right near home. And we actually have enough now to make us an actual fire that will stay. How far? Are we? Oh, well, I guess that would explain why I wasn't finding it. Oh, hello. We're going to stay. This here. Aha. Well, I guess the flag's gonna put wood in the fire. I guess we might as well let it. Okay. We have got an open cave system right here. We've got cave systems all around us, so obviously we don't have a problem finding one. Um so we're going to go ahead and trail off down here to the lower west side, so that way maybe we can find some. We'll see where this takes us, actually. So let's see, where are we? Oh goodness, that's a long run. Then at least I know where to go if I need my my bunnies. <laughs> do bunnies not leave their holes anymore? Because it seems all they do is wander around in circles around them. And that's going to make it quite difficult on me. The dinosaur bone. <laughs> Probably not, but you know, good humor. <laughs> Let's see if I can run my way back up, so that way at least I get the, the exploration done. I don't know if I'll be able to make it, but here's to hoping. And I don't know what it's like to pick a cactus, so I think we're going to test things out here. Intriguing, okay. So that's how that works. And it looks like we are blocked off, so we actually have to go back through that hole. Unless there's some other way. It does not look like it, though. 
Maybe I should scroll in a little bit so I can actually see what's going on. Okay. So we'll go down, go back in through the cave system. <clears throat> I don't know what those are good for, but I've been told people use them for uh, some things. Well, I know if we need rocks, at least we can go through the portal and be near the rocks, so it won't be a problem. And if we need to bring our sanity down, we'll just keep jumping in the... obviously not. <sighs> you only think something's gonna work a certain way and then it doesn't, and then you're like, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to cook these berries. They're going bad way too fast. Alright, so what do we need to make? Let's see, do I have enough to make two? Bird, why did you have to land in front of where I'm planting something? had more than one gold. Obviously not. So, okay. We do need to make us, which I don't have the wood to do. Okay. We will chop down some of these trees then, since we went ahead and planted them. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, you create yourself your own farm of... Guess I'm gonna have to eat these. Or drop them for fertilizer. <clears throat> Will you quit trying to pick up stuff that I didn't tell you to pick up? Alright, I thought those were fully grown trees. Looks like it, but I could be mistaken. Yes, it is. Give me two acorns. Or pine cones, I'm sorry. Not acorns. Take the carrot, chop the last tree down that's in this corner, and then you can go back to base. Usually I like to get base set up before I like to do exploring, but I've been doing a little exploring early, which has led to me getting killed, but it's fine if that's how the cookie crumbles, then that's how the cookie crumbles. Those berries just look so disgusting right there on the ground. That actually looks worse than the, the poopy. But oh well. Okay, so now that we've got some of this, we still don't have what we need though for the electrical doodad. Um, we shall plant this in there. And since right now we don't have any fertilizer, I'd rather not pick up anything that we would have to replant, such as berry bushes or 
grass because you would have to fertilize. Well, well, look, there we go. We got some fertilizer. <clears throat> well, what I'm gonna do then? Is go and pick up all of this. We're gonna try to get us a base set up, and we know we need to gather us up some more gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and round this corner up here just so that way we can collect us some more gold. So I don't think it'll help if I'm sitting here carrying way too much to carry any gold. So I'm going to put that down, just to be on the safe side. We didn't really check that area over there to see what was all in it, but maybe we could be lucky and find something even better in it. No telling, but you never know what you'll find until you go and explore. Let's go ahead and gather us up a little bit more gold than that. Because you know we're going to need gold for multiple things, so might as well go ahead and collect it while we're out here. <clears throat> And we found us a graveyard in case we do need to drop our sanity pretty fast. And we can always collect some gold from in here. Oh, and there's plenty of sites that we can dig up. I'd take it since Maxwell was the old enemy. Oh goodness, yes, we don't want a tall bird. But I'd take it since Maxwell was the old enemy that that's the reason that going into graveyards does not bring his sanity down. Never knew that was a thing, but I guess it is. But like I stated before, the only way to know is if you test it to find out. This doesn't seem to be too big of an area, actually. This seems like it's just small. So I think where we're stationed at should be a lot better. Ooh, I do like what I'm seeing up there, though. Marble the cave system, but we're going to have to go through that tall bird in order to get to it. Alright, well here it goes then. Guess today we will be. Please don't attack me, tall bird. I'm not after your egg. I'm just wanting to go around you. Mm-hmm. I see. I guess you can't collect anything if you don't have room for it, huh? Well, I guess we'll just take it and run back. <laughs> Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to make it.
we'll go ahead and make us a chest because we need somewhere to put, put all these extra materials at that we are gathering. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that is if we actually have a chest to put it in. Okay. Yep. 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 Oh, I didn't realize we had one more extra in there. Okay. I guess we planned around the fertilizer. We've got us a little bit of a farm going now. <clears throat> Go ahead and add fuel in there. Let's see, we'll go ahead and plant these trees. Make sure that we don't run out of trees while we need them. <clears throat> Alright, so it seems that we do not have, oh, that, go up here, make this, okay, so we need two stones for wood, two stones, and four wood, which we don't have enough to make, so tomorrow we'll be gathering up some wood. We need an alchemy engine to build it. Okay, well guys, it seems that we've run out of time for this episode. But if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And turn on that bell so that way anytime that I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.